Happy Juneteenth, friends. Are you ready to celebrate? It's time for the Let's Celebrate Juneteenth Black Radiance Tablescape Challenge. And as usual, I'm starting off showing you some of the items that I will be using in my tablescape. So stay tuned for some Juneteenth facts and a special spotlight that I'm doing this year on Maya Angelou. I just love her poem, Still I Rise. So stay tuned for that. Now, it wouldn't be complete if I didn't have at least one DIY on the table. And those plates, I will tell you about them. Yes, they are a DIY, and I will talk to you in a moment about those. So you kind of stay tuned. That was fun to do. Everything else, I kind of shot my home. The only thing that is new is the table runner. But everything else I had around here, either from last year or earlier purchases this year, like those nice boas. Now, those are super cute. They had those at the Dollar Tree earlier this year. I've got them around New Year's, but I didn't use them then. And that fist that you saw in the clothes, that also came from the Dollar Tree, but it was last year and I did not see them this year. So I spotlighted my fist for this occasion. Yes, I'm black and I am proud, honey. <laughs> also, if you missed my last two uploads, the king and queen are in the house and they are spotlighting also in this Juneteenth tablescape because y'all, this is how I see us. Regardless of the struggle and even what we've been through, we still rise and the way I see us is kingly and queenly. <laughs> Well, here's what I did with those plates. I found these cute napkins at Party City. I love the gold foiling in them. I was looking for Art Deco and that was it right there. Took some Mod Podge and just put it on the back of the plate. And on the saucers, I did uh, spray paint gold. But on the full dinner plate, I put the full napkin, had to kind of piece it together. And it turned out really cute. So that's a simple DIY version of those plates. Maybe I'll do a video to show it in deeper depth. Hey, let's go. Freedom. Freedom. Juneteenth, also known as Juneteenth Independence Day or Freedom Day, is an American holiday that commemorates the June 19th, 1865 announcement of the abolishment of slavery in Texas and more generally, the emancipation of enslaved African Americans throughout the former Confederate States of America. The name Juneteenth references the date of the holiday, combining the words June and 19th. Juneteenth was originally celebrated in Texas on June 19, 1866. It marked the first anniversary of the day that African Americans there first learned of the Emancipation Proclamation more than two years after it was initially issued. The holiday was originally celebrated with prayer meetings and with singing spirituals and wearing new clothes to represent newfound freedom. Within a few years, African Americans were celebrating Juneteenth in other states, making it an annual tradition. Juneteenth celebrations in the United States typically include prayer, and religious services, speeches, educational events, family gatherings, picnics, parties, and festivals with food, music, and dancing. The day is also celebrated outside the United States and is used to recognize the end of slavery as well as to celebrate African American cultures and achievements. Juneteenth celebrations in the United States declined in the 1960s overshadowed by the civil rights movement. However, the holiday began to regain its importance in 1968 when the Poor People's Campaign, originally led by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., held a Juneteenth Solidarity Day. Interest in Juneteenth continued to increase in the following decades, and the first state-sponsored Juneteenth celebration was held in Texas in 1980. Hey, let's go. And as you know, Juneteenth is now a federal holiday. Freedom. What? Freedom. 
My spotlight person this year is Dr. Maya Angelou. Dr. Maya Angelou was born April 4th, 1928 in St. Louis, Missouri, and she passed away on May 28, 2014. I had the awesome privilege in 2011 of seeing Dr. Maya Angelou speak at Evergreen State College here in the state I live in. It was phenomenal. One of my very favorite poems by Dr. Angelo is Still I Rise, and here is a portion of that poem. Did you want to see me broken, bowed head and lowered eyes, shoulders falling down like teardrops, weakened by my soulful cries? Does my haughtiness offend you? Don't you take it awful hard, cause I laugh like I've got gold mines digging in my own backyard. You may shoot me with your words, you may cut me with your eyes, you may kill me with your hatefulness, but still, like air, I rise. Does my sexiness upset you? Does it come as a surprise that I dance like I've got diamonds at the meeting of my thighs? Out of the huts of history's shame, I rise. Up from the past that's rooted in pain, I rise. I am a black ocean leaping and wide. Welling and swelling, I bear in the tide. Leaving behind nights of terror and fear, I rise. Into a daybreak that's wondrously clear, I rise. Bringing the gift that my ancestors gave, I am the dream and the hope of the slave. I rise, I rise, I rise.